kids. We are now 334 kilometers south of Cairo in the eastern desert of Egypt. We are heading um, uh, this way. Today we are going to St. Anthony's Monastery, which is hidden somewhere among the Red Sea Mountains. Who is St. Anthony, Uncle David? St. Anthony is the father of all monks and he is called the Star of the Wilderness. I really enjoyed riding on the camel, Uncle David. It's so adventurous. I wish I would have brought my iPod to listen to a new song I love while I'm riding on the camel. But Hannah, normally you don't like listening to songs, right? Yes, that's true, but I want to learn it. Learn it? Are you going to sing it in the school show or something? Well, no, I actually want to memorise it because I look so silly with my friends when I don't know the words. They all know it off by heart. Don't worry about being special, Hannah. Today I'm going to take you to learn about a special saint who was never worried about doing things differently. This is amazing! This is the monastery of Saint Anthony and his old cell is at the very top of the mountain. Can we please visit his cell, Uncle David? Of course we can. We have to climb up the mountain on a lot of stairs. These stairs were built recently to make it easy for everyone who wants to visit St. Anthony's cell and get a blessing. Let's go. Mark, did you remember to bring the magical glasses? Yes, they're in my bag. Finally, we have arrived at the cell. Oh no, it's, it's too tight. How can I get in there? Don't worry, Uncle David. You stay here, have some rest, and I will go quickly with Mark to have a look. Then we will come back. Okay, fine. Just be careful and don't be late. I will sit down here and wait for you to come back. How did St. Anthony manage to live in this mountain for years? I can't believe he climbed the mountain without stairs. Wow! Let us put on our magical glasses. Hello Hannah and Mark. Welcome, Welcome to, to the monastery. monastery. My, My name, name is Anthony. Anthony. This is amazing! Hello, St. Anthony. Hi, St. Anthony. Could you please tell us your story? My pleasure. I was born in Kumnilaros in 251 AD, almost 2,000 years ago. My parents were very rich, and they also loved the church and the poor. They raised me up in the fear of the Lord. When I was 20 years old, my parents sadly passed away and I had to take care of my sister. One day, I went to church. Stand up with the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Gospel according to our teacher Saint Matthew. May his blessings be with us. Amen. If you want to be perfect, Jesus said to him, Go sell your belongings and give to the poor, and you will have a treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When I heard this, I felt like it was a direct message from God to me. So I prayed and God guided me 
to sell all my belongings and give them to the poor. You gave everything away? Yes. Even your phone? Oh, Hannah, there were no phones in my day. But if there were, yes, I would have given that away too. As for my sister, we agreed that she would go and live in a home for young women where she could spend her life worshipping the Lord. Then began my solitary life. What does solitary life mean? It means I began to live a life with God, completely apart from other people. So where did you go? I went into the desert and tried to learn from other people living the same solitary life. I learned to pray often, to fast faithfully, to be humble and to be free from anger and much more. That sounds amazing Saint Anthony, but wasn't it hard? Definitely. When the devil saw my love for God, he tried to defeat me, distracting me with boredom and laziness. God allowed me to overcome these temptations with lots of prayer. Wow, and the devil didn't bother you again? That's a great question, Hannah. The devil is sneaky. We always need to be on the lookout for him. When laziness and boredom didn't take me from God, the devil tried to physically hurt me. Then he tried to scare me. If any of you had any authority over me, only one would have been needed to fight me. Let God arise. Let his enemy be scattered. Let those also who hate him flee before him. What an incredible story. Then did the devil leave you alone? Again, a great question. Unfortunately, as long as we try to love God and be good people, the devil will never leave us alone. But never fear, we have God on our side and he's way, way stronger than the devil. So, did God give you any tips on how to deal with boredom and laziness? I think Mark needs some help with those. Hey, you do too. <laughs> Oh, Hannah, but in fact, God did show me what to do. One day, I was praying, Dear Lord, please show me the way of salvation. What do you want me to do? Please show me the way. Go out and see. Do this, and you will rest. God sent me this angel to show me what to do. Weaving would keep my hands busy, and this allowed me to live a focused and a prayerful life. And I did, for many, many years. Didn't you miss seeing people? Actually, not really. As people learnt about me, they started visiting me and asking me lots of questions. I wanted to be alone with God, so I kept going deeper and deeper into the desert. Eventually, I settled in this very place, which became this monastery. People still came to see me, but they also wanted to spend their lives with God. So I encouraged them, and I told them how to dress and act like the angel, the Lord, had shown me. So, were you the first monk? Yes, you can consider me the first monk, but don't forget that there were others before me who chose to worship God all alone in the desert. In fact, one of them was my dear friend St. Paul the first hermit, but some people still consider me the founder of monasticism. Why then? 
while I prayed alone, there were also others in the desert who were just like me. We supported and encouraged each other. This type of community is what being a monk or nun is all about. Well, that's really beautiful. St. Anthony, who is this in the picture with you? This is St. Paul, the first hermit, whom I told you about. People say that both of us are the fathers of monasteries. Why is there a bird in the photo? It is a raven. I'll tell you the story behind it. Like I said before, St. Paul was one of the very first people to spend his life in the desert worshipping God. One day, God told me to visit him. It was a long journey. Please, Father, open the door for me. Pray for me and bless me. My beloved Anthony, you came at the right time. Thank you, Father, for meeting me. Will you please tell me your story? What is this, my father? Every day God sends me half a piece of bread with this raven. But today he brought me a whole one so that we can both eat. Now I know that you are the man of God. The Lord is so good. Let us pray before we eat. After we shared a meal together, Sam Paul told me that it would soon be time for him to go to heaven. He told me to get a specific clothing to bury him in. And by the time I got back, he had passed away. I'm so sorry, St. Anthony. What did you do then? As I mourned my friend, two lions entered the cave without my noticing. It scared me at first, but I realized that they were a blessing from God. I led them to an area of sand, and the lions began to dig St. Paul's grave. I wrapped St. Paul in his clothing and placed him in the ground. The lions covered his body with sand and left peacefully. My friend St. Paul was an amazing man. I hope you meet him someday. I hope so too. What a beautiful story. Yes, St. Anthony. Thank you so much for telling us your story. We learned so much. But I think we have to go now. Oops, we've completely forgot about Uncle David. Thank you, St. Anthony. Pray for us. Anna, Mark, glad you came back. Did you have a good time inside? It was so nice, Uncle David. We'll tell you all about it on our way back. But right now, I'm thirsty. And hungry. I have an idea. It's very hot here in the desert. Let's go for an ice cream. Oh, yes, please. Oh, and one more thing. Can we go to the liturgy tomorrow? Of course. I'm surprised, Hannah. I thought you always said church was boring. It was, but St. Anthony taught me that God can help me defeat anything, including boredom. See down the mountain, Mark. Wait up, I'm coming. Uh, did she say Saint Anthony taught her?